Welcome to the Hundred Acre Room. Welcome to a late night movie vlog. Yes. <laughs> Take your shirt off and watch with us. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay. So we saw we just saw Christopher Robin with that with that re very not family friendly segue you just, <laughs> <laughs> just gave us. It's me. Come on. How many uh, of these have we done? I know. I know. <laughs> we didn't so, realize we were on. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we saw Christopher Robin, and um, I dragged them to it because it was my yes. birthday, and I get to yeah, do what I want. That was so hard. Uh -huh. How dare you? I, know. I like Winnie the Pooh. I wasn't. Surprised. I, I do too. I'm I'm not a huge Winnie the Pooh person, but neither you know, am I. I, 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 I like it. I, I like it a lot. Um, I was worried because you know, again, this is another Disney movie based on an animated thing mm -hmm. that they're returning live action because that's what they do nowadays, <laughs> but. This one is kind of the exception because it's technically a sequel. Mm -hmm. It's a sequel to all the other things. <coughs> and um, they, they haven't really done that before. Um, well. well, they did. Remember Alice in Wonderland? They technically... Was the, f the first one was a sequel? The, well, the one that they did, I'm saying that the live action, that one that they had Johnny Depp being... Mad Hatter all of them. That was like yeah. after the, the, the adventures just, that it just happened. The title of the movie was the, know, the movie oh. title said it one way, but it technically was taking place after. Oh, so, uh, adventure. you know what? Adventure. I'm gonna be honest. I completely erased all knowledge of that movie. <laughs> I don't blame you. Out of my <laughs> out of my psyche. That was the right yeah. idea. It's to like do. it's like when you format. All, it's like when when you're defragging a hard drive <laughs> and it removes stuff you don't it need. It was a safety factor. That's kind of why kind of what happened with me. Yeah, so. I'm not but in any case, it's, it wasn't like Beauty and the Beast or The Jungle Book or Cinderella where it was just, you know, we're just going to retell the whole thing, but with live people yeah, yeah. and make but, uh, it less charming. But on the other end of the spectrum, thankfully, it didn't go into Return to Oz territory. I like to return to Oz. <laughs> we'll say that for another time. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> no, it did, what I mean is it didn't, it wasn't like. They just didn't go dark and gritty and make it okay. yeah. characteristically true. Although, right. true. although with the right editing, uh -huh. you can very easily turn this into like a horror movie. Oh, yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> Some of the shots of this movie, I thought yeah. we were watching The Witch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Especially with all the Eeyore scenes. Oh, the Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore. Eeyore. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, the, I, I think that was the one issue I had was uh, a lot of the colors were very washed out. With like the characters, because I remember like Tigger is supposed to be like orange. Yeah. Like he's a he's a tiger. He's well, supposed to have tiger. Think of how well, many years have passed. Like he's like an exactly. old rusted. Maybe that was well, the show. He, no, he was like he was That's the same when when they showed Christopher Robin as a kid. He's just never been put in the washing machine. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was between wars at that point. Nah. I mean, this all takes place. I think it's still the war. Isn't uh, World War Two still going on at that point? Or maybe uh, World War One. Well, well, he got to because uh, they showed Christopher Robin growing up, and apparently he served in in World War Two, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess he got discharged. But we don't know if the war was still going. I don't know exactly what it the time frame is. Probably was past, I would think. At that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's working for a luggage company now, yeah. and <clears throat> that that was the other issue. And I think we all kind of agreed on this. Um, this movie was very, very predictable. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's it was, the kids' movie tropes you've seen a thousand times it, before. It, overworked parent. Yeah. It was pretty much what I expected, mm -hmm. at the very least. Mm. But here's the thing. We, we grew up in the 80s and 90s, where movies like this were a dime a dozen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the same, the, the same yeah. thing they're going through. It's like all those other family movies are like the dad kids is busy with the, the he's got the meeting and then but the he kids. learns what's really important exactly. yeah. in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the, in the words of Red Letter Media, it's about family. Oh God, the haunting all over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we it's go about again. family. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Jim Cummings as uh, Winnie the Pooh yes. and, and Tigger. Tigger. Yeah, so good. Uh, what? Who, uh, Peter Capaldi was Rabbit, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the one of the one of the doctors. Mm -hmm. So uh, fans of Doctor Who will like that. <laughs> Won't find any in this room, unfortunately. <laughs> right. I didn't recognize the voice. Yeah. He's no wasn't David Rabbit. Tennant. I wasn't <laughs> sold. <Sorry. laughs> anyway, he's the best. Do Sorry. Uh, he's Scrooge now. That. Yeah, that's right. He's Wait, the Doctor <laughs> Scrooge. Yeah, um, David Tennant. David Tennant, yeah, the, 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 like three or four doctors previous. Yeah, oh. he's the tenth oh. doctor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 
Oh, yeah. He's been doing voice acting lately, and it's really, it's really good. Like he was in Ninja Turtles, oh, well, and he was uh, what else? He was in Clone Wars, okay. the TV know that. show. Yeah, Doctor Who was in Star Wars. Just in case wow. anybody, actually, there was a uh, uh, in Star Wars Rebels. They had one of the other Doctors do a voice. Hmm. So all yeah. your fandoms are coalescing yeah. into one megaverse. <laughs> it will be the apocalypse soon. Yes. They all need work. The so singularity. We need the monkey's paw and the ice scraper. Everything's falling into place. Oh my God. Anyway, no, enough of that tangent. Mm. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, what, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the predictability the of the movie. The pre and predictable, such. yeah, but not bad. I it wouldn't say. Fun. Uh, we can all agree, though, that Eeyore was the best part yeah. of the whole movie. Yeah, yeah Brad <laughs> Garrett is Eeyore. Brad Garrett. Yeah, the perfect voice for it. <laughs> I, I think he's that. voiced him before. I'm not sure, but if, if he has hasn't then why hasn't he yeah, i know i'm pretty um, sure he did yeah so. just the just the you know he's the typical stuff and like oh great sacrifice the donkey yes. <laughs> yeah me. and he falls on the floor he's like good right where i belong <laughs> 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 Poor donkey. Uh, yeah who's great um uh, uh, what was his name was christopher robin uh for you and mcgregor you and mcgregor yeah, yeah. Renton. sorry yeah. what Never mind. Oh. I said nothing. I was going to say Obi-Wan Kenobi going back to Star Wars again. I was saying Renton, his character from Train Spotting. <laughs> I have still not seen that movie. Oh boy. <laughs> and One they're, day. Apparently they're making a sequel, or they have made they a had, sequel. They had, they made a sequel. Yeah, alright. Anyway, um, he was really good. Uh, there was a, there were a lot of, like, very heavy-handed moments in this. Because there, there was that scene where he, he got, he, he went back to the Hundred Acre Woods, mm -hmm. and it was all, like, you know, gloomy and rainy and and miserable and oh, and like and that. there was a there was a sign that said watch out for the heffalumps and woozles and they you know they were I was like okay I see where this is going he's the heffalump he's the one that eats the dreams and is too busy he's for the everything. monster all along <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. it turns out it's man yes. <laughs> yeah and then dun, dun. and then there was that there was that scene. Um, where, because, because the whole thing was he had to, uh, at his company they had to like make tough decisions and they might have, they have to, to do work budget on budget cuts. Yeah, yeah, and they then they were looking like they were gonna have to let people go, and he was explaining to Pooh, you know, I'm a, I, you know, I'm people rely on me, and and I may have to, you know, let them go, and and Pooh was like, oh, the way like you went, let me go. And I was Ow. like, oh, yeah. how? Oh, that, yeah, that really yeah. hurt. He was more like, he did, asked, did, did you let, did me, you go? let me go? Mm -hmm. yeah. I suppose I did. Yeah, yeah. A lot, lot of, lot of moments like that where it's like, even when they didn't get to that moment, it's like, oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, uh... It getting, hits you right in the feels. Yeah. Pretty much. I, I think that that's was kind of the point of the movie. And yeah, true. It's what, they, it's what they did. It was um, it, it very... I don't want to say manipulative... Because that's that's like the wrong word, but they were definitely there was no subtlety. Yeah, no, no, no. 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 you knew where it but was going. They, yep. it's, it was for um, you know, it was, it's it's for a kids, you know, for yeah. kids movie. And I guess people that really, well, you know, well, I would up. think with that they're trying to hit more of the people who grew up with it. In the yeah, first, well, yeah, those lines are the one odd thing more. I noticed though is the fact that even though this, what there were really a lot of kids went in the theater when we watched it was a lot more adults. It's yeah, true. true. Although no, no, there was we that one. There was a kid. Okay, okay, so. So in, in the the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's, yeah. there's, a, there's a scene where he's, he's like, oh, I he's like, oh, someone's eating all my honey, and then some kid in the audience, it was like, you, you <laughs> ate the honey, you <laughs> ate it all. <laughs> that was the funniest moment of the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but we uh, we did enjoy it mm -hmm. a lot. It was um, solid. It actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Muppets. Remember the Muppets? Mm -hmm. The the one the I movie just remember one of them having it. teeth and that gave me nightmares. But yeah, <laughs> I meant the movie the Muppets, the one that they made after they got yeah. bought by Disney. Yeah, that's and what it was. I the, meant. It was kind of this. <laughs> there's a couple of Muppets with teeth. What are you talking about? <laughs> Doctor, there's one called Doctor Teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it kind of reminded me of that a little bit because it had the same. You know, it it kind of hit the same chords. It's like oh the Mu people don't care about the Muppets anymore because they're they're old and nobody cares about them but you know we're gonna show them that we're we we can still be fun or whatever yeah. 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 yeah yeah so are you I one think... of the ninja turtles yes <laughs> 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 it's a shame they haven't really done much with the muppets lately 
yeah. They, they did two movies and then the TV show, which was apparently not very good. And that, and then they brought back Muppet Babies. Yeah, I think that's the most recent is, thing that they're yeah, working yeah. with. Yeah, much so. more it, with a much more you know younger audience in mind. Well, they so, couldn't other. And, and they still intercut single. movie footage into the show like they did with the original. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> they, do they don't. Well, they have like like you're talking, you're talking that guy like they had a thing with Animal at with a musician thing, and then the one guy with the big hat that is in the band came into the Muppet. The, the leader of the, man, the band. I forget what his name is. You know, the one grand character, the one that's got like the, the gold tooth. Dr. Teeth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He was, a, yeah. he was on Mama Babies? Yes, yeah, he, he was. was. He the, was. The new one? That, yes. Yeah, For there real? Was, yes. <laughs> oh. There was an episode where he where they were just wanting to practice. Well, Animal but, wanted to practice. Yeah, Animal wanted to practice on the drums, else, and like, they, they were the just glam. mostly focused on the outfits and, and whatnot, the looking good. And then when they were actually playing, they all sucked. Except and for Animal. Except for Animal, he kicked ass because oh. he practiced. And then Doctor oh. Chief offered the spot. I, you I know, know I didn't. So. I didn't bother. That's with like that. a that. That's yeah. that's the storyline of yes. how he got into the band. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. So so it's Muppet Babies is actually canon. Yes. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Uh, I mean, I, I, watch I never. I watch with my daughter sometimes. Uh, actually, well, you have an show. excuse. You have a kid. I, I, <laughs> see, I, 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 I didn't. Bo- I didn't, didn't bother with it because you know I, I usually only review stuff that potentially anybody can enjoy. But you know, I for think for much you, enjoy re- really, you think yeah. so? Yeah, Brian watch watches it. it. Mm-hmm. He watches yeah. it too. <laughs> yeah, when he's home alone. So he's yeah. All right. Well. Maybe I'll check it out one of these days. It's that weird not bad. A penguin character. Yeah, oh, yeah, Summer. they brought in a new character. Yes, a penguin named Summer. Yeah. Uh, irony. The irony. <laughs> oh. so. She's a pretty cute character. I like her. I wonder if they'll... Uh, is Skeeter in it? No, no. Oh, they don't have Skeeter. Yes, not in the regular no. group. But Mm-mm. it may be... One of, like, just like Rolf isn't on it as well either. But like, Really? Yeah. Oh, Rolf's not in it? But, no. again... We're talking a could... lot about the Muppets. I just realized. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like, Winnie the they Pooh could <laughs> lay off face. <laughs> well, it's uh, the They may have uh, episodes where they may be brought back in later uh, or whatever. All right. Maybe Anyways. they'll cross over with Winnie the Pooh. See, we brought <laughs> it back. There exactly. I could, I could see it happening. I mean... Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, they just cross Winnie the Pooh over with um, the MCU because Agent Carter played... Christopher Robin's wife. <laughs> so they so, were so, very calm about meeting Winnie the Pooh too. I know. That, like, yeah, it's I, a talking I, plush doll. Well, no, 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 like, no. Oh, I, mean, I could see. She but did the freak wife, out at first. The daughter freaked out more than than the, the wife did. Yeah. yeah, because she heard the voice and she's like, she's like, who's that? She had a tennis racket and then they showed up. And she's like, ah! <laughs> the kid in the stroller yeah. that was with Winnie the Pooh didn't freak out though. When, when he well, was he, looking for him. He had the appropriate kid reaction. He's yeah, like, yeah. talking teddy bear? Awesome. And then exactly. the, the girl freaked out. And then the you know, the reactions were all over the place. Right. <laughs> that donkey was staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I think you're the one who lost his mom. Oh, yeah. The, can, yeah. I, can I just say the... Um, like the boss of their company was so stereotypical. Yeah, he, he was very harumph. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 my time, Robin. Yes. 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 We need to have this meeting. We need to make money. Yes. 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 I mean, he wasn't like all he, he needed was a cigar, <laughs> and he would have been set. And he didn't, he didn't. What do you have for us, Robin? The funny thing is, he didn't seem like like a villain. No, he was, he's just. But he's not a villain. He was though. just. The boss, but he had son, son, he the jerk. Jerk. Yeah, but yeah. he he had those like mentalities where it's like, <laughs> you know, he had the big, he had the mustache, yeah, and he was had the jowls. Yeah. He was like, yeah. this is a company <laughs> matter. <laughs> I bought the bracelet. <laughs> They want to some final thoughts. It's a standard cookie cutter children's movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was fun it was, to watch. I like the fact that it was just an hour and a half long. It was yes. a three-hour oh marathon. Oh my god! Like everything it else. Epic, it was so, so nice to have a short movie for I once. I know. I like how it has like the sensitive moments, and it really does hit you in the feels. Yeah. Yeah. Again, <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it was like we were saying. It speaks to the older audience, but at the same time, you know, it, it invites you know the kids in to watch. And that, yeah. that to me, that's like the perfect family movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I would say let the kids maybe have them watch some yeah. Winnie the Pooh like cartoon yeah. stuff in advance to give them a little bit. At, of at least tell them. You know, I think most kids yeah. should know who Winnie the Pooh is. You know, 
It's a famous Disney see, character. It's true, but you don't see them as often. Like when you're looking at like Disney and stuff like that, they've rehashed the Mickey stuff, and you see the Ducktales again. But they could easily rebring back Winnie the Pooh just a little. Yeah, bit I guess so. They can make another, another kid's show to go like, along yeah, with the Muppet Baby be or fun. something. Yeah, it, it was it was fine. It was good. It was cute, and mm-hmm. you know, I I enjoyed it. And again, mercifully short. Yes, this was this was not a Marvel was movie. The, thank well, God. It would have not yeah. worked. If I it can't. Was two and a half hours. I can't. I can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> what do you want more? Tigger bouncing around uh, all over the place. Uh, extended cut. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, are we convinced that Mel Brooks made a cameo at the end with well, that? Uh, I I that do song? think that was him. We'd have to look. Yeah. Okay. So there. But I'm pretty. I'm convinced that was. There. Him. There's a scene. Uh. Yeah. Like. Dur- you know, not so after the credits, but right during, during. During the credits. The yeah. Because we were waiting. We were debating <laughs> whether we should leave and see if they have an uh, end credit sequence. Uh, yeah. We didn't check, by the way. But during the credits, there was a scene. I think it was supposed to be like a jingle for their their suitcase company or whatever. Exactly. And yeah. it was just. Uh, it was a, like a guy on. You know, playing a piano with like the stripes and the straw hat, and he's. We, we could have sworn it was Mel Brooks, mm-hmm. but it, it probably wasn't. Well, according to the credits, too, apparently Chris Pratt was in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, he was. I didn't catch him. But Me neither. He, he was, barely he was supposedly, in the movie. Supposedly he was like a guy on the train. Yeah. We didn't we didn't notice him. I wonder if he was the schmarmy guy with the glasses at the end, like when he was coming back and he was like looking out the window and such, and that one guy was... I wonder if that was oh, him. Oh, and then, like, wearing, he put oh, him in disguise. Yeah. Oh, oh. that would have been sneaky. I think that's what it was. Maybe. Yeah. Probably uh, a, a distant relative of Peter Quill. Exactly. See, this is the MCU. <laughs> There's your, exactly. It's connecting This is long somehow. before he got abducted, so... Mm-hmm. No, I guess it wasn't him, because the last thing they're saying he was in was Hotel Transylvania 3. He was Vlad. Oh, Mubarak's okay. Uh, oh, well. Uh, it might have been his cousin. Some some other guy, then. Yeah. Uh, but any, anyway, um, anything else before we go? Mm, I got nothing. a good movie. We all got to go back to reality and yeah. do our jobs. Yeah. Well, you do. I'm still Soul looking. crushing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just go find that red balloon. Yeah, yeah I need a red balloon to make just, me just, feel yeah, better. Yeah, red, red balloon. Make you, make you feel better. Red balloons solve everything. <laughs> like in that one movie. It makes you happy. Red balloons and honey. Up. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure I was thinking of that. That. I was thinking of that like that. Wasn't there like a French film called The Red Balloon or something? Oh, yeah, right. there was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Just by and they by parodied the that, and then yeah. uh, the critic, where they oh. turned it into an action film, it was uh. a sequel. Oh. <laughs> Or you could have the balloon I don't know that's in. Um, with more hot air, General. What is that balloon that? or you? <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're we're dragging this on. All right, Winnie the Pooh was good. Yeah, um, solid up. Yep, see you guys later. Yep, later.